we are machines. We're made up of biomolecules that obey laws of physics and chemistry. So therefore, in principle, one can imagine building another sort of machine out of other sort of stuff which was equally intelligent as us, or perhaps more intelligent. It's our working hypothesis, but maybe we're, we're overestimating our abilities. I think it's really hard to make long-term predictions about the nature of artificially intelligent machines, just as it's been really hard to make long-term predictions about electronics. If you look at electronics in the early 20th century, who could have imagined what we'd have by the end of the 20th century? Um, it's undeniable that right now artificial intelligence and computers in general are benefiting from exponential increases in computer power and e even the exponential amount of scientific research that's happening. So some people hypothesize that at some point uh, an intelligent machine will spring into existence and there'll be a complete separation of before and after. But I don't think that, that technology quite works that way. We are building more and more intelligent systems. They're much more intelligent than they were five years ago or ten years ago or twenty years ago. And that process will continue. We may, at some point, say, wow, that thing's really changed in the same way that, you know, if you look at the use of cell phones today compared to cell phones 20 years ago, that's a big difference. But it didn't happen all on one day. It gradually evolved. So it's going to be a period, if it happens, it's not going to be a sudden event. Perhaps I'm a little cynical, but sometimes when I look at some of the literature around the singularity, it sort of seems to me to be a techno-salvation, where somehow technologists are looking for a way to get eternal life without having to go to the bother of believing in God because they can believe in the technology that's going to provide it to them. And I'm skeptical about all forms of eternal life. A lot of technologists see one of two possible outcomes. Either everything's going to hell and the machines that we build will just, they'll, they'll, they want to take over us, it'll be from us, it'll be like a Hollywood movie. Others sort of see these machines are going to make life great and we'll all be writing poetry and eating grapes and life will be wonderful. Um, I, nothing's ever as bad as we expect or as good as we expect. I think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Uh, many of our machines have turned out to be great for us, but they come with problems and I think that's going to happen with intelligent machines too. I'm a techno-optimist. I, I really think technology is great and, 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 is, and it will continue to be. Uh, whether it can solve every problem for everyone who's now alive, I think is not likely to be true. I think there's going to be a continuing cycle of living and dying for a long time to come. What's happening 200 years from now, 500 years from now, is impossible to begin to imagine. But in the lifetime of my own lifetime, the lifetime of my kids, I think things aren't going to be too, too different from what they are for, for most of us today.